Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make super tasty broccoli dry curry. It is amazingly delicious with both roti and boiled rice. And the recipe is so easy. So guys, let's see the recipe. At first I am showing you the broccoli. I have taken about 300 grams of broccoli and cut them into pieces. You may see the size and I have taken the inner muscle part of the stem. You may keep the size according to your wish there is no problem and I wash them properly. Now I am adding some cooking oil into the pan. And uh, let the oil heat a little and after that I am adding some cumin seeds. Half teaspoon of cumin seeds and a pinch of asafoetida. Let the cumin seeds crackle well and after that I am adding some finely chopped garlic about one and a half teaspoons of garlic after chopping and uh, I am frying them for about uh, 10 to 15 seconds only and after that I am going to add some onions two medium sized onions finely chopped I am adding it and now we need a transparent color of the onions after the color is transparent now I am adding two green chilies cut lengthwise and one big size tomato finely chopped and some salt according to taste. I am mixing a little and after that I am going to add some powder spices. So at first I am adding 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, red chili powder according to taste half teaspoon of paprika powder for a brighter color I am mixing everything nicely and uh, I need to add some garam masala but I uh, will add it later after mixing everything very well I am gonna cover the pan the heat should be on medium to low and now the tomatoes are nicely soft and the spices are nicely cooked in between we need to uncover the pan and stir the mixture nicely for several times and now the mixture is ready it's time to add the broccoli into the pan so I am adding them. Now we need to mix everything very well. The spices should be coated on the broccoli. After mixing everything very well we need to cover the pan for some time on medium to low heat. After about 5 to 6 minutes some water was released from the broccoli and the water is dried up now. But the broccoli are not cooked well. So I am going to add some water. I want to make a dry curry so I am not adding so much water a little water I am adding and now I am gonna uh, cover the pan again and now I am keeping the heat on medium and uh, cook the curry for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes or until the veggies are cooked very well. So after about 8 to 10 minutes this is the texture of the curry. The veggies are about to be cooked 100% but there are some water left in the pan. So I am going to cook it for another uh, 2 to 3 minutes on high heat to dry the water up but before that I am adding some garam masala about half teaspoon of garam masala I am adding and some fresh coriander leaves. I need to mix everything very well again and after that I am going to cover the pan for uh, another 2 to 3 minutes on high heat to dry the water up. So it's nicely mixed and now I'm covering the pan. After about 2 minutes this is the texture of the curry. The veggies are fully cooked now and the curry is wet but not so dry. And really I wanted this consistency of the curry. So our curry is ready. I'm gonna turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. So guys our super tasty super delicious dry broccoli curry is here and it's so much delicious with boiled rice and roti chapati or any kind of indian staple dish as well so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care